Hello, my friends. I'm so thankful you joined me again for The Morning Mindset. It's time for you and me to get our minds aligned with the truth of God. I would love to hear from you, hear how the Lord is working in your life and what's going on. I would love to know how I can pray for you. You can reach out to me. I answer my own emails. It is carrie, C-A-R-E-Y, at carriegreen.com. And if you don't see a response from me within a timely period of time, <laughs> whatever that means, uh, check your spam folder. Sometimes my emails seem to wind up there. All right, we're in Proverbs chapter 12, verses 9 through 12 today. And we're going to talk about uncommon common sense. And it's just uncommon in our day. You see, it used to be that common sense was pretty common, right? That's why we call it that. But it's becoming more and more so that people don't have common sense. People are having their thoughts twisted and perverted by the evil that's going on in our world. And it's time for us as believers to just stand up and say the truth, to be compassionate, yes, to be careful and considerate of people, yes, but also just to be uncompromising in saying what is true and pointing it out, waiting for the opportune time to do that sometimes. Let's read verses 9 through 12 of Proverbs 12. It says, Better to be lowly and have a servant than to play the great man and lack bread. Whoever is righteous has regard for the life of his beast, but the mercy of the wicked is cruel. Whoever works his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows worthless pursuits lacks sense. Whoever is wicked covets the spoil of evildoers, but the root of the righteous bears fruit. Now, these passages, at first glance, seem a little bit unrelated. They're talking about all kinds of different topics. But what's at the root is the common sense nature of what these people are doing and the common sense nature of what's being described. Let's look at it real quickly. The first sentence, better to be lowly and have a servant than to play the great man and lack bread. What comes to my mind immediately is the Instagram photos and the Facebook face that people put on, how they'll talk about all the great things going on in their lives. And I'm doing air quotes around great things here because they put off this impression that they're doing so great and their life is so wonderful. And yet there are often things under the surface in the reality that people don't see on social media that are truly lacking. Maybe a marriage that's struggling, maybe relational conflicts that are going on, maybe financial improprieties that have happened, maybe morality that is compromised. And yet they're putting on this face. Look at this verse. It says, better to be lowly and have a servant than to play the great man and lack bread. It's better to be a person of integrity and let common sense guide you. Look at the next. Whoever's righteous has regard for the life of his beast, but the mercy of the wicked is cruel. So righteous people are compassionate even to the point of caring for the animals under their care, doing it with regard and with compassion and with concern. I don't think we're to go overboard and make them into our fur babies or our, our children, but at the same time, we are to care for them. They're a stewardship that God has given us, and that is wisdom. Look at the next verse. Whoever works his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows worthless pursuits lacks sense. So this passage is telling us that there are things that we can do to further our life, to provide for ourselves. And he refers to the four-letter word of work. You see, we can be involved in God's provision for us through diligent work. But on the contrasting side, he says the one who follows worthless pursuits lacks sense. It reminds me of the 27-year-old who still lives in his mother's basement, sits in his pajamas and plays video games all day, or blogs, or creates videos, and, and nothing ever comes out of it. Friends, I'm not saying you shouldn't play a video game now and then. I'm not saying you shouldn't be able to have downtime. But friends, we need to be about the Lord's business through living diligent lives full of integrity. Jesus within us guides us in that way. The final verse says, Whoever's wicked covets the spoil of evildoers, but the root of the righteous bears fruit. Don't we want lives that bear fruit? Don't we want to be lives free of covetousness that 
comes about from looking at what evil people have and, and wanting it for ourselves. Friends, righteousness bears fruit. A, re- a life of common sense is what bears fruit. Jesus, guide us in living lives that stand apart in our culture, not as a condemnation to the way others are doing things, but as a conviction that brings about change, not only in our own lives, but in the lives of those we touch, our family, our friends, our communities. Lord, make us a light that transforms through Jesus' power. It's in his name we pray. Amen. Amen.